And after the New York Times report about John Bolton, a small group of activists are calling for a vote to allow witnesses in the Senate trial. That's right. They gathered in downtown Lexington yesterday, all while the Senate impeachment process continued. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky is live in our studio now with this LEX 18 News Update. Claire and Chris, like many people across the country, those activists who stood together in downtown Lexington yesterday say that they voiced their concerns by turning to the phones and flooding the mailboxes of senators in D.C. A spokesperson for Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said that the senator appreciates the many Kentuckians sharing comments and for their patience with the high volume of calls. But protesters in Lexington say that they feel shut out by McConnell's office at a critical time in the trial. I think he's not responsive to the constituents. I don't think he cares. I think it's an urgent matter with respect to uh, the integrity of our democracy. So that's why I'm out here. Processors say that they want witnesses and documents, particularly the testimony of formal National Security Advisor John Bolton. After the New York Times reported, Bolton claimed Trump linked the military aid to Ukraine to political investigations. However, it remains to be seen if McConnell will call for such a vote. Claire and Chris, back to you.